lighter blue colour, a bit more aqueous or aqueous colour. We're almost to the end here, we've just been sitting on the Bunsen burner for about five or so minutes and the colour change between pentahydrate and gradually getting closer towards this anhydrous state. Here we are about two more minutes later and it's practically completely dry. So we've got anhydrous copper sulfate. And in a second we're going to rehydrate it with some distilled water, any kind of water we find. And we're going to note any colour changes we see. We've got the anhydrous copper sulfate and we've got the copper pentahydrate over here. Just going to add a few drops of water and we're going to note any colour changes we can see. <laughs> oh, wow. It's just a little bit hot at the bottom. It's magical. Ah, cool. Okay. So as I add the water, it's reincorporating the water molecules into its crystal structure. That's going away. If I add more and more, you'll just dissolve into that beautiful, clear copper sulfate. Nice. I don't have a stirring rod, so we can't stir it. But.